Welcome everyone, Amiga Heaven, it's another week, and it is point and click time. We've been through some of the greats, and today we are looking at one that I loved because the film was so good. We're looking at Hook. Now if you didn't really watch the film, I don't know that the game would have made much sense. You really had to know what was going on and what happened in the film for you to know how to progress forward. But I played especially the first part of this game so many times that I'm not probably going to have a problem. Okay, so this is for anyone who hasn't seen the film. This is the real Peter Pan, played by Robin Williams. He has gone out to the play for an evening, or a meal or something. He gets back. Oh no, his kids are not there. I'm not even going to try and do the accent. Hook has taken his kids. And Tinkerbell, that, look, that actually looks like. Robin Williams, I must say. More so than the other images. And Tinkerbell takes him, yay! But he hasn't been Peter Pan for so long, he doesn't remember what would even be involved in doing that. And what would even be involved in doing that. So, that's going to be the game. There it is. There's the hook, designed by those two people there. Based on a film. And yeah, like I said, so we're going to pick English. And um, with no more explanation other than that, you're just thrown into the game. You have the letter, which, if you read it, it just says the same thing from before. You've got the little disc to save. You've got your phone, which don't work, and a checkbook, which is irrelevant. You can't use it. Now, there's a whole bunch of things you need to do. I am going to progress to the next area. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the most effective way possible, because there's bound to be a few things I've forgotten. But the main aim is to get on that ship there. Now, he won't let you on unless you're dressed like a pirate. See, so you've got the pier, and you've got... Now, he won't let you on. So you need to basically... Get out of here. Oh, wow, he showed me the hand. Oh, I don't remember him doing that. Plus the fact that you've got a fairy flying around you probably doesn't help. So you've got to dress like a pirate. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go into Dr. Chop. I'm not hanging around, unlike other games. I know exactly what I need to do here. And um, you need some money. So if you talk to old Dr. Chop here... Um, how can I earn some money? Do you know where you can get a good jacket? And that's a good way of knowing what it is you need. Jacket, pants, hat. And there you go, that's a little hint as well. He buried an alarm clock in the beach. Because that'll come up a little bit later. Can I have some monies, please? So he gives you a gold coin for every golden tooth that you have. And you have three. Yep, he enjoys it. Now, the one thing to look out for as well is the Captain Hook picture on the bottom left there. Because every, I think every time you get a major part I'm going to do this another two times. Um, every time you get like a major part of the outfit, 
whether it be the hat, the, the jacket, or the trousers, um, he he has a go at you. Grr. And if I'm correct, the Peter on the right will cheer or laugh or do something. Um, so, yeah, that's just a fun little thing. I always enjoy that. So we've got two. The Outfitters, nah, it's actually no good. What we're essentially going to do is we are going to kidnap. We're going to not kidnap at all. We are going to steal all the stuff we need. Oh, I only get two. Okay, I thought I got three. Two must be enough, I suppose. Okay, so we're going to the square. I like that there's a guy there asleep in a box. Now, the man that's walking across the screen, we want his hat, essentially. Which we're going to collect in a little while. And we're going to pick this stick up first. This comes in quite handy, I must say. And then this took me a while to realise. You see, look, if you try and just take the jacket, she won't have any of it. <laughs> I'm clearly not a pirate, love. Come on. But now, if you look really closely, there's a little anchor there. Now, that anchor actually took me a while to get hold of. I just didn't notice it was there. That took a long time to realise. And now we come into the alley. As far as I'm aware, the guy fishing won't give you any more information. If you go and eat, he just won't talk to you. In here, you need to pick up these mugs here because they are for collecting the trousers. Why you need specific pirate trousers when you're going to be having a long jacket, I don't know. But, we won't argue with the mechanics of the game. We also need to pick up some rope. That's kind of the good thing about this game. Over other point and clicks. Just use these. Hey, there, there you go. He didn't like it. He did not like it. He did. The thing I like about this game is that some point and click games, the objects are obvious to spot. They stand out. They're made with different graphics. In this game, they just are the background. And they could be anything. So, because they don't get highlighted or anything, you have to just try. Now, this is all to do with timing. What you do is you have to use this, as always, keep trying. And I think it's on the third time, he eventually just does it. We're after that hat there. So we need to time it when we think the guy is going to be coming out. So I'm going to do it now. And we should be able to get him when he walks back. You can see it takes a bit of a wind up. Can we get the... Yeah, we got the hat. Now, we've got to be quick. Because you've got to use the door. And then quickly swing back. And it, oh, tell me about it. You've got to go this... You've got to swing back. We're going to go and get the, the jacket now. Whee! Because for some reason, if you leave it literally like um, 30 seconds or 10 seconds, she answers the door. But for you to walk all the way around, to swing across, to walk all the way around and then walk all the way back, she's not at her, she's not at her window. So now we can collect. Um... The jacket. And I'm not sure if it's timed. I don't know if you've got, let's say, two minutes from knocking on the door to picking that jacket up. There you go. So we've got the jacket now. There's the third gold piece. I forgot about that. I just looked at the jacket and I 
Sorry, people. That that might have already been in my mind. I I, I might be lying there. I may have thought mm, there's something in that jacket. Um. But yeah, we've got the three gold pieces that we need. So now we're gonna go back into the mugger's alley because we now need the trousers. And again, you can have a wander around. You can talk to different people. You can try a whole bunch of different things. I know a lot of we're going to take his trousers because he's almost asleep you got to give him some beer yeah can I have a mug of cocoa Okay, well, let's give him the mugs first. Because it takes all three, as far as I'm aware. There you go. And then the last one. And then maybe if I just give him the money, he'll just give me the beer. Oh, it's an ultimate war. <laughs> so he doesn't remember. The outfitters. The outfitters are very expensive. You can't afford anything in there. Here's the guy that I'm after. I'm like, yeah. There you go. So if you didn't know, that's how you find out. Ah, okay. I thought it might have been talking to him. <laughs> this is a bit rude. Maybe I just need to give him the money then, maybe. Or give him a check. Don't nod at me. I didn't do anything yet. Yay, there we go. Alright, so now we can... It takes all three for him to go to sleep. So you have to have all three mugs, and you have to have all three coins to get them. That's why I feel like I must have... Something in my mind must have told me to look in that thing. In the jacket. I must have already had an idea about that. Now we take away his trousers. We're all fully, fully outfitted now. So. We want to change... Uh, okay, so will he change here? People are around. Okay. Um, I feel like I need something. Something to cover himself with. Can I go to the beach? Because there's, there's, I mean, the guy is watching guard, but he's got his back to me. So technically, can would you change here? No. I remember having something. I remember him having a screen of some kind. Because he pulls the screen down and it just floats. And I remember thinking, that's weird. That he just, it just happens to float there. Can't pick... Can I pick up the sign? No. Okay. Because that would have made... That would have been something... Right, um... Oh, maybe where I got the jacket from. Because there's actually no one on that screen, is there? I think there's people in on every screen. Because even if I went to the back alley, there would be... There's the fishermen's there. So I think it's... Is it here that I can do it? Hmm... 
Mm, let's try it. Right, now I need the screen. So this is where it needs to be done. Oh, what screen though? Because there's no other places to go. That's the outfitters. And I'm pretty sure they've only got clothes and something else. Which I'm not going to discuss yet because we'll get to that in a minute. Um, there's nothing out here. Um, nothing over here. Nope. Okay, can I talk to anyone? I don't... Okay, no, no good there. I just can't remember. Uh, I meant to go in the pub. I pushed the button too high and it went into the alley. Let go. Okay, fine. Let's talk to him instead. Yeah, see, the fairy. I mean, these are all pirates. They're not going to be happy, are they? That you're walking around with a fairy floating around you. Nope, nothing in here that I can see. What is it we need? I mean, I'm running out of places as well. Unless there is something in the outfitters. See, there's nothing up here. Hmm. Okay, let's keep looking. Like I said, I'm definitely sure it was something because I remember it hovering. He pulled it down like a screen and like a sheet, and it and it stayed in front of him. Um. I don't think it's in the outfitters. Let's have a look. No, you see, it's all... She's got the outfit, but she won't sell it to you. And then she's got that, which we need later. Remember the story about the... Uh... It looks unimportant. Remember the story regarding the uh, clock? Because again, there's not a whole lot of kind of information when it comes to this game. And once you actually put the outfit on, can I, I don't think the other clothes will work. Once I uh, put the outfit on, I can get onto the ship, but then I need to get his attention and the only way you can get his attention is the alarm clock so you need to get the magnet to get the alarm clock now I can notice the sign uh, let's go to this back alley again and have a look I might miss something on the beach maybe because I wasn't looking for a screen when I was back here I wasn't looking for something to cover myself with. I was just looking for a place where no people were. Has he got anything? That's it. It's the back. It's the back. It's the. Uh, it's the shades. Yeah, I remember. I remember. As soon as I saw it. As soon as I saw it, I remembered exactly what it was. Damn it. Damn it. Well, we got it. We got it. That's fine. That's what we need.
So let's do this. Yeah, again, you know, it's one of those things. You have to kind of know the story to this game. Um, and if you're not a big Peter Pan or Hook type person, there it is, and it just stays there. Yay, and now we're a pirate. <laughs> Um, but it takes, it takes, you know, it can take a while, this game, because it's things like knowing you have to get the, um, the clock from the beach. You have to know that you need that, because at the moment you can get onto the, uh, you can get onto the boat now. Oh, I went onto the beach, I think. I did. Okay, yeah, and you see he's gone now, so. Um, but it's one of those things, there's no way you would know that you, you can't get in touch with him or that you have to try and get his attention. Well, there might be. I don't remember there being anything. I remember wandering around for ages. Well, not too long. But enough. <laughs> um, enough time. So, we're not wasting any problems here at all. There is... Uh, oh, maybe it's the... Is it the hatch? No. Oh, it's the pots. Is it the pots? you got to just pick up the pots. There's loads of money. Yeah. So, you just pick up the pot, your gold. And we have some money. How much we got? Nine. Lovely. And that is exactly the amount we need for what they call a metal detector because you see he is over here there's a load of people and he and there's the kids in in up there I was looking at the sail okay fine let's go get the uh, thing I do I do like point and click games the stories that go into them I think can sometimes really outweigh how long some of the games can take it just gives it just gives like a whole new way to play these games really um, oh yeah the outfitters Okay, we're almost there, people. Don't worry. Okay. I mean, I tried to look at it just now, and he wouldn't look at it. Yeah, so maybe I've just got to talk to her. My name is Peter Bannon. Do you have any metal detectors? <laughs> there you go. It just so happens it's exactly the amount we could take. There you go. And there we have it. They wouldn't have a clue what he was talking about. We are going to get this clock. And if anyone's watching this and nope, never seen the film, go watch the film. It's a great film. Especially for kids. If you've got yourself some kids or you are some kids, then go go watch it. It's a great film. There. Right where the X is. Yay, there we go. Yeah, it don't matter. <laughs> Essentially, I don't even need to do anything now, because he will hear the ticking. But let's see. What we essentially do now is just walk up. 
and he will just hear it. What's making that infernal racket? Come over here, you. There he is. Well, for anyone who's seen the film, one of them definitely wants their dad. But um, the little girl very much wants her mum. Only, it would appear, the way she acts. I can't fight you, I just want my kids. Sworn affidavit. Dental records. But it can't be. <laughs> it's funny, because you, unless you know the film, you have no clue who's actually talking. One person could be saying this whole thing, and it just would not make any sense. Seven days, and Tinkerbell will make a Peter Pan. Bare minimum for a decent pan. Oh, run away. And jump into the water. Hey, there are the mermaids. Hello, mermaids. Now we need to go up, and that's probably where I'll leave it. Um, oh yeah, no, 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 no. I need to use this, yeah. Oh, it's stuck, okay. Oh yeah, that's it, I need to use the stick on this for some reason. Don't ask, it just works, that's all you need to know. Now do I need to use it? Yay, there we go. Up we go. And from here, we meet the, well, we go to meet the Lost Boys. And each one has something needed doing. And when you do the doing, you become Peter Pan. And then you go fight. And there you go, we're overlooking, standing on a giant tree. It's a great game. It's really fun and enjoyable. And again, if you like the, um, the film, it's definitely a game you need to play. Because it really does bring back memories of how great that film is. So that is Hook on the Amiga. I hope you all really enjoyed that. We're going to go back to more action games next week. So thank you very much, and I will see you next week.